What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm going to bring to you another gold farm. And yes, this gold farm is going to be an instant respawn gold farm, so I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, it's basically one of the easier farms that you're going to be able to uh, like take advantage of, because they just instantly respawn. It's easy to AFK, like, you guys can actually just sit in one spot and spam a button the entire time, and that's the only thing you have to do. And uh, there's no super big high ticket items that are going to drop from this uh, farm. Mainly just a uh, bunch of different pieces that sell for like uh, 1k, 2k, 3k, stuff like that. Also, uh, p there is a few pieces that sell for like 20k. But uh, that's not what we're interested in. Since we can get a bunch of pieces that are worth around 3k, if we just sit there and farm it all day and they drop a ton of them, then we can just sell all those on the auction house. And people have actually made like a legitimate 200,000 gold in just an hour with this farm. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the intro because I can't really show you what they drop because their loot table is just gigantic. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to start the video now. Um, we're going to cut to the farm. I'm going to teach you how to do everything. And uh, if you would like to, you can like, comment, or subscribe. Really help me out. Also, uh, if you look in the link in the description, there's a link to my entire setup that I use to record videos. So if you guys are thinking about doing it, that might help you out. So we're going to cut the video now, and I'm going to see you at the farming location. Alright everybody, I'm back after that cut, and uh, as you can see by the looks of it, uh, we're at the gold farm. So I'm going to explain to you what you're going to want to do here, um, the easiest route to farm it, and also what you're going to get from the farm and where it's located, all that good stuff. So we're going to start the list off with where this farm is located. This farm is located in the Southern Barrens, which is on Kalamundor, and it's in Azeroth, and I'll show you right here. It's just on the edge of Dust Wallow Marsh, but it's technically in Southern Barren still. So I'm going to show you from an aerial view so you know where it's at when you come here. It's just basically this big little fortress thing right here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of these little like uh, orc people fighting uh, the guards at this space. <clears throat> so basically, what happens when you kill these guys is after you kill all of them within like a set area, they're going to force respawn. And uh, the more people you have, the better. So, as uh, you can probably see here, I've actually killed uh, quite a few of them right now. And uh, they're, well, this spawning is a little <clears throat> weird. But ideally, you would have uh, three to four people here. And you'd have one person on this hill right here killing um, the mobs that come into contact near him. One near the archery uh, tent area, one near here, and then one down there. But if you are uh, just doing this by yourself, what you're going to want to do <clears throat> is uh, you're going to want to stand right about here. And this way it will give you the like easiest AoE ability to just uh, start them to instant spawn. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, uh, there's a bunch of them running all over. Oh, yep, and see, now they're instant respawning. Now, if you are doing this by yourself, you kind of have to do it this way. There's no really way around it. Um, um, like I said, the bigger a group you have, the easier this farm is going to be for you. Uh, you do need to kind of go back and forth like this. If you have a group of people, you can literally just send monks up at certain locations and then just have those go off uh, for almost what it seems like hours. You could probably just sit here and just do this farm and let it rack up uh, stuff for you. And you won't even need to touch your keyboard. But as you can see, this farm is uh, a lot easier with uh, droid because they can just go to flight form and go loot everything right there. As you can see, there's a green that I just picked up. And uh, yeah, that's basically all you really have to do with this farm. Um, as you can see here, just picking these up. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you have a group of people, it's obviously going to be a little bit easier. And uh, you're supposed to drop some uh, greens and good stuff like that. And not a lot of people know about this farm. And uh, I think that's going to be it for the video. Probably just have this video be a little bit shorter than the rest of them. But uh, yeah, that's really all you need to know. This is uh, definitely a quick little farm that you guys can uh, hopefully utilize to your best abilities. And uh, you can make a bunch of gold. And if you're watching this video now, I recommend you go do this farm while you can. Because uh, as soon as I post this video, a ton of other people are going to watch it. And they're going to start uh, going crazy on this farm. They're going to, you know, they're going to start snagging up all the items and the prices are going to drop so definitely go do this while you can 
and uh, I think that's going to be it for the video. If you liked it, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, link in the description is uh, my setup and all that good stuff if you want to look at that. And uh, I thank you for the opportunity to be a YouTuber, every one of my subscribers. And uh, hashtag notification squad in the bottom, and I'll like your uh, comment or I'll respond to it and all that good stuff. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.